Over on ITV3 now, it's Inspector Wexford with the best man to die. And right, let's see if it could have been you with a bank balance showing a whopping £332,000. What would you spend all that cash on? It's Jewel. This is the life. Here's where the living is. Jewel, in association with Harvey's The Furniture Store. Bringing your home to life. Let's duel. The answer is B. <laughs> Wanda versus the accelerator. If it's B, you have won ten thousand pounds. B. <laughs> You're stripped. Yeah. <laughs> See, it is Nicholas. See, Spanish. I never lie. All men lie. Welcome to Jewel and to this, the Jewel Arena, where the jackpot is still there for the taking and has risen to a staggering £332,000. <laughs> on this show, its winner stays on, win four jewels in a row, and they scoop that jackpot. But it won't be easy. One mistake and they're out. Now, at the end of last week, we were in the middle of a highly charged duel. Please welcome back our dance troupe manager, stripper <laughs> uh, Michael, and advertising exec, Nina. <laughs> I'm going to come to you first, Michael, because you're on your second duel. We all know, we've been fascinated by what you do for a living. We know that uh, you entertain ladies in a, in a public arena. But I also I want to talk about your family. What about the Michael at home? Uh, well, it's important that I win because I've just had a baby. You've just had well, a baby? Well, my wife had a baby, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and the baby's five months old. Oh, lovely. What's your wife called and what's your baby called? My wife's Donna and my baby's Sophie. OK. So that money would make a big difference it to that would, new yes. newborn. And what's the wife feel about the stripping? She puts up with it. Does she? The thing is, if I, if, I, if I win ten grand today, she'll be nice to me for at least a week. <laughs> and if I win the jackpot, then it's a whole year of niceness. All right. So the more money you get, the nicer your wife's going to be yep. too. Nina, yes. advertising executive, very strong start, very punchy, I thought, with Michael. Mm, I think, yeah, I think he's an interesting one to play against. I've been kind of watching him and working him out, and I, I think I've got him down. What tactics do you think Michael would be susceptible to? I think Michael could stumble um, because of his guts, and I, he's... Is it too He's brave, quite do you think? Gutsy, yeah, mm. and I think I think that might be his downfall, to He's be honest. A bit gung ho. So you're going to play it a little bit more cautiously. I'm going to play it a bit safer. Mm. People always say the way they're going to play, and then once the game starts, it can change. At the beginning of each duel, each player has ten chips. They use these chips to cover the answer that they think is correct. If they have any doubts, they can use extra chips to cover other options. If they've covered the correct answer, they stay in the game. If they haven't, they're out. It's as simple as that. Any chips that are on incorrect answers are lost, and each one adds £1,000 to the jackpot. So this is the situation. Michael has got seven chips. Nina has got eight chips. You've both got one accelerator, which, remember, you can use to panic the other player if you need to. Get them to play within seven seconds. Michael is on his second duel. Nina is on her first jewel. The jackpot stands at £332,000. Michael, Nina, that's jewel. <laughs> Poppy throwing the chips from hand to hand there, Michael. Let's have the first question. A hit for Destiny's Child, the song Independent Women Part 1 came from which Hollywood movie? A. Charlie's Angels. B. Miss Congeniality. C. Legally Blonde. D. Thelma and Louise. 
Does this count as a chick flick, Nina, do we think? I think we'd categorise this as a chick flick. Are you a chick flick sort of a girl? I love a chick flick. Do you? Do you watch chick flicks, Michael? I just thought maybe for research. If I'm forced. <laughs> it could be any of them, couldn't it? That's sort of the way the game works, Michael, yeah. Mm, yes. <laughs> Plenty of chips there. The important thing is to make sure you cover the right answer. If you've got to cover others to keep yourself safe, then you must do that. <laughs> OK, Nina has locked down. Confidently. I love a chick flick. Do you know this? Yep. Right, it's not thermal and wheeze. Oh, OK. Good accelerator, I'd have thought. I was going to do it straight away, but I just wanted to gauge, first of all, whether he had an, any idea, and I, I don't think he does, so I've wanted to shush him along a bit. Let's lose the screen. It looks as if it's worked for you. I've got to say, Michael, if she's so sure, for a long time you only had one chip and you had it on A. I was thinking whether to put it on all of them, to be honest. Well, it needs to be A, Nina, for your sake because otherwise you're out of the game. If it's D, both of you are out of the game. The answer is A, Charlie's Angels. <laughs> you both stay in the game. Michael loses two chips, £2,000 is added to the jackpot, which goes up to £334,000. Well done, Nina. Thank you. Forging ahead. Eight chips. Use both of your accelerators, however. Michael, now five chips, one accelerator left. Still very much in the game. Let's have the next question. Which of these Los Angeles streets is world famous as a centre for luxury fashion shopping? A, Mulholland Drive, B, Hollywood Boulevard, C, Rodeo Drive, D, Sunset Boulevard. Right. Has clamped down. <laughs> You're a bully sometimes, Michael. He's a big bad bully. He's only here to win the game, though. He's to use all the tools in his toolbox. I don't want to use your accelerator yet, then, though. A lot of tactics in these, this game between you two. Have you got left? He's trying to either show you or hoodwink you, and he's certainly sending messages across. <laughs> okay, she's locked down. Both locked down. How many do you think he's played? I think he's played three. How many do you think she's played? Hopefully more than one. Two, three. Let's use the screen. Yeah, that's what I thought it was, Rodeo Drive. Rodeo Drive. That's the one you both think it is. Michael's played his little trick by putting chips along the side there. Is it him that made you play the extra ones? No, I think I'd have played it anyway, cos I, I did I did want to hedge my bets on that one. The answer is... You can see Rodeo Drive. <laughs> I wouldn't have had a clue. Not a clue! Still, Michael has an accelerator left. He has five chips, Nina has six chips. Let's have the next question. What is the highest rank in the British Army? A, Brigadier General. B, Field Marshal. C, Major General. D, General. And they're all put side by side. They all look feasible, don't they? Did you ever think about going in the Army, Michael? No. <laughs> <laughs> Nina, think about going in the army? I think I would be the worst army person in the world. Really? I don't think I'd be very good at fighting. So, do we feel we're guessing? Oh, Everybody? We're guessing. Oh, we're guessing. Do you know this one? I have a, a suspicion. Yeah? That's all I'd call it right now, a suspicion. 
No, do I get brave? You just go the one. I think he's You've been... got plenty of chips. You've got plenty of chips. Always remember. I think he's being brave and is only playing one chip, though. And I think I'm about 70% sure of the answer. I'm not at all sure. I know you're not, but you're gutsy and I'm safe. I'm stupid and you're sensible. All four down, you're definitely in. Ooh. Both locked down. Very, very difficult question. Fascinating to see what happens when the screen drops. But first of all, go to a break. Welcome back to Duel. We are at a key moment in this duel. Michael's on his second duel, Nina's on her first. We've got this question that both of them have sweated over. They've both locked down. They're desperate to see how each other has played. They've got enough chips to cover all the answers. This is what they've done. Ready, guys? Oh! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happens, you're not both staying. <laughs> That's the one that I wasn't sure whether it wouldn't be, so I feel sick right now. Well, Let's come to you, Michael, first, because you've only played one. Mm. What makes you so confident the answer is Field Marshal? Field Marshal Montgomery. How about you, Nina? I feel sick right now. Do you think I you've was lost gonna, it? I was going to cover that one. Michael's got this right. He has a chance to play for some money and move on to his third duel, three quarters of the way to the jackpot. Oh. Nina, you've got it right. You've won your first duel. The answer is. Played really, really well. It was a really, really good duel. Okay, I thought you had his measure. Well done, well done. It was a difficult question. You paid the price for not using your chips, yeah, didn't you? Absolutely. You had the chance to cover them all. You didn't cover the correct answer. Yeah. Nina, that means I'm afraid you have to go home. No. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. For well done. Right. Young man. I want to go home. <laughs> you don't want to go home at all. You're about to play your third duel. But before that, you're going to get a chance to take some cash home with you straight away. OK? I've got three chips here. I'm going to ask you a normal question. You've got three chips to cover the correct answer. If you use all three chips, you get £2,500. If you use two chips, you get £5,000. If you use just one chip, you get £10,000. The higher the risk, the greater the reward. It's Michael versus the Accelerator. Let's duel. <laughs> Farsi is the official language of which country? A, Sri Lanka. B, Thailand. C, Iran. D, Somalia. Happy with what you've played? Not at all. If you've got the answer right, you've won £5,000 because you've only played two chips. The answer... ..is C, Iran. Michael, I'm really, really sorry. You'll get another chance when you win your third duel. You're not going to take any cash home safe now. But you're moving on to your third duel. You're going to be three quarters of the way if you win this to the jackpot, currently £338,000. Let's find out who it is that you want to play against in your third duel. Steve 44, a mortgage broker. Nobody's chosen him yet. Next, we have Dave 44, a binman. Dave has been on the set longer than me. 
Nobody fancies their chances against Dave. And our new potential duelist is Trisha, who's 51, and this is an unlikely job. She's a pet motel owner. They're all right, murderous rover, three of them. They are, really, aren't they? It's like Britain's most wanted. <laughs> I think Steve's looking a maybe. Because... Why? Because he's the most nervous there. I haven't seen Dave move in three weeks. Uh, I think rigor mortis is set in with Dave, to be fair. <laughs> He's been there for several months. Trisha's... She runs her own business. Yeah. Intelligent lady. Possibly. Oh, I don't know, Nick. I don't know. I'm going to go with Trisha. Trisha? OK. Trisha, please come and join us. Trisha. Now, pet motel owner. I'm not going to ask you. I just need you to tell me what that means. Well, people go on holidays. Yes. And so do it's animals. It's a kennels and a cattery, isn't it? No, 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 no. It's at home. No, it's at home. I even take them to bed with me. Do you? I do. <laughs> right, fair enough. Now, the other thing I'm interested in about you is that I know that you're a superstitious oh, lady. Definitely. I've got a lot of guardian angels up there Have watching you? out for me. Now, have you seen anything in Michael's play that you can exploit? He gets nervous when he puts his chips down. Uh, I can tell when he's not sure. I've been watching his eyes shifting about. Um... He's certainly a fidgeter. You're a fidgeter. <laughs> now, you're going to get more fidgety now, Michael, because you're getting closer and closer and closer to that jackpot. I know you sort of put it to the back of your mind a little bit, but now you must be starting to think about how it could change your life. No. I'm trying not to. I just want to get through this one. You must have talked about it with your, your wife. You must have discussed. As far as the wife knows, I'm struggling to win anything. So even if I won the jackpot, I'm only going to tell her that I've won £10,000 anyway. Right. <laughs> Do you not have a television at home, Michael? <laughs> well, you'll be able to afford one now if you win this. Come on, Michael. Start to think about the jackpot. Start yeah. to focus on it. It's £338,000. You're halfway there. You both have ten chips. You both have two accelerators. Michael, Trisha, let's duel. <laughs> In which year did the Titanic sink? A, 1902. B, 1910. C, 1912. D, 1920. Remember, Trisha, just because it's your first duel, you've got plenty of chips, make sure you cover the right answer. I did have a relative who had a friend that worked on the... On the Titanic, did you really? Mm-hmm. Not lookout, were they? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'd seen the film, though. Did uh, any of your guardian angels die on the Titanic, by any chance? No, definitely not. It's a shame, isn't it, eh? Would have helped. <laughs> Michael's locked down. <laughs> Trisha has locked down. Being brave again. Are you? Yes, he is. Goodness me. He's got ten chips. He's on his third jewel. He can almost touch the jackpot and he's played one. You've kept yourself in the game. Do you think he's right? You're very gutsy. But is that bordering gone silly? It's a thin line between genius and crazy. Which would have been the one you'd have gone for? I think I'd have gone for D. Does that worry you at all? Well, even if it's wrong, my heart will go on, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> very good. I don't think your wife will let it go on. <laughs> Not with a steak knife through it. I'm right, I'm right. It's 1912. All I'm right, right, then. And you think you're right. You better be right. It would be a crying shame to lose with nine chips sat next to you. The answer is C, 1912. <laughs> Let's lose three chips from Trisha. It doesn't matter. You're right at the beginning of the game. You've got plenty more chips. Yep. The good news is that adds £3,000 to the jackpot. £341,000. Michael has a perfect start. Ten chips, two accelerators. You've got two accelerators and seven chips. Let's have the next question. Which best-selling romantic novelist wrote Kaleidoscope and No Greater Love? 
A, Jilly Cooper. B, Barbara Taylor Bradford. C, Danielle Steele. D, Jackie Collins. Do you read a lost romance? All the time. Accelerator has been played. Ah! You need to calm down, Michael. Never. Let's have a look what's happened. I would have said that was a pretty good playing of the accelerator. You know this, don't you? You think that you know. I think I know it, but it's a lot different sitting at home to sitting here, mm. being sure. Well, if you've got this right, you've turned the I game back so. round again. Yep. The answer, Michael's in, whatever happens, needs to be C for you to stay in the game, Tricia. The answer is C, Danielle Steele. <laughs> three more chips adds £3,000 to the jackpot. The jackpot is £344,000. Both of you have seven chips. Michael has one more accelerator than Tricia. Next question. The first Summer Olympic Games held in Asia took place in 1964 in which city? A, Seoul. B, Tokyo. C, Kuala Lumpur. D, Delhi. The 1964 Summer Olympics took place in which of those cities? You good on your sports trivia, Michael? Not really. Trisha? Oh, he's locked down. He's very big on that, you know. Let's have a look. Well, you've certainly got the response you wanted, Michael. She's played all four. You may well have played all four anyway, Tricia. Do you think you would have done? Um, probably, yes. Yeah. So you might have wasted an accelerator there. You might have done. Which would have been your favourite out of those two? Uh, if I remember rightly, Munich 72, Mexico 68, Tokyo, I think, is 64. I'm not sure. The answer is... Steve, Tokyo. Four more chips go into the board. £4,000 is added to the jackpot. £348,000. Just nicking ahead now, Michael. Six nothing. chips plays four chips. You've both played one accelerator. Next question. The villainous Texas Pete was the arch enemy of which children's TV superhero? A. Super Ted. B. Super Gran. C. Danger Mouse. D. Banana Man. <laughs> Your baby's too young for you to have watched a lot of children's television recently. What's your family situation, Trisha? Uh, my girls are now grown up, but we did watch a lot of those when they were younger. Will your girls be shouting at the screen now? Definitely. She'll be shouting, Mum, win some money. Is the tension getting to you at all, Michael, as you edge closer? Oh, yes. I'm going to gamble. OK, locked down. No, I think I've got to go with my gut instincts. I, I actually pulled a card out of my um, pack of angel cards this morning, and it said... Listen to your intuition. And my intuition is telling me to go for the one I've covered and maybe one other. They're very chatty, these angels, aren't they? Well, of course they are. <laughs> Let's go for it, shall we? Hit your button. Oh, right. God. <laughs> Don't put everyone out of their misery and lose the screen straight away. Because the question that everybody <laughs> wants to know <laughs> is which one was your angel card telling you to go for? B. B. The answer is A. Oh, no. <laughs> I would suggest, Trisha, if you win the jackpot, buy yourself a new pack of angel cards. <laughs> That's what I would say. Two more chips go, £2,000 added to the jackpot. Jackpot goes up to 
£350,000. <laughs> you both have one accelerator. Trisha, you've got three chips. Michael, you've got five chips. Let's have the next question. Baton Rouge is the capital of which US state? A, Louisiana, B, Florida, C, Mississippi, D, Oklahoma. US capitals. That's the sort of thing, if you're into quizzes, you know the answer to. Do you know it? I'm fairly sure I'm sort of 70%. Press your button. I'm going to gamble. <laughs> Just for a change. You'll be in trouble at home, Michael. I'm always in trouble at home. It's called marriage. <laughs> You're in trouble now, that's a serious. Certainly are. I'm going for it. Right, we're both locked down. A long, intense wait. Both played the same one. It's as simple as this. If you're right, you're both in. If you're wrong, you're both out. The answer is... Come on. Hey, Louisiana. Nicely poised. Michael has five chips. Trisha has three chips. You both have one accelerator. £350,000. A nice round number to play for. And we'll play for it after the break. <laughs> Welcome back with a jackpot on a perfect round. £350,000. And Michael, on the Virgil, standing in his way, is Trisha. She has three chips. Michael has five chips. Michael, how are you feeling? Nervous. £350,000. That would buy you a lot of baby oil, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> would you give up the stripping if you won? In a second. In a second, would you? <laughs> right, next question. Tense time. Concentrate. What shape is each cell of a honeycomb? A, triangular. B, pentagonal, C, hexagonal, D, octagonal. <laughs> Lockdown and accelerator played. You responded very, very quickly. And she did respond very, very quickly. You both played C. You're both confident that the answer is C, hexagonal. And the answer is C, hexagonal. It's one of those ones, isn't it? You think, I know this, and I bet they don't. And that's obviously why you played your accelerator. You're now ahead of him, accelerator-wise, sadly behind him, chip-wise. Five place three. Next question, please. <laughs> what is the name of Prince Charles's stepdaughter? A, Emma. B, Catherine. C, Jane. D, Laura. Got on your royal, Michael. You're making a lot of noise, Michael. That's what I do. Clicking two together, you've only played one. Wouldn't you like to know? I know. I might just be lulling you into a false sense of security. Quite good at breaking the concentration, isn't she? Nope. He's locked down. You're going for it again. Well, that's the one you're showing me. I'm going to lose one of these sooner or later, aren't I? <laughs> Would you like me to put you out your misery? It's up to you. Or it's me your out game. of mine. It's your game. <laughs> Nothing can change now. On that third jewel, Michael. I've got the chips to get you through the question. I'm a gambler, Nick. I play too much poker. Mm. Do you think, Michael, that Tricia knows the answer? Yep. So when this screen goes down, you'll be hoping that she's put some in the same place that you've put yours. Well, it would be nice. 
to the screen. Does that make you feel happy? Could be D. Could be. What was your first choice? I, I was toing and froing between Emma Parker Bowles, Laura Parker Bowles. Emma came into my mind, so. Go well, both of you think that it might be Emma. If it is Emma, mm. both of you are still in the game. How are you feeling at this moment in time as you look down? Absolutely terrified. The answer is D. Laura. Yes! Well done, Trisha. Congratulations, you've won your first jewel. You have played so bravely, Michael, throughout. And every time you've gambled, obviously, you've stayed in. That's what got you this far. You've got all those chips. Yeah. You just missed out on some cash when you won your second duel. You've been brilliant, but sadly, you've got the answer wrong and you go home no with mind. nothing. Michael, thank you so much. You've been a great duelist. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now is your chance to pick somebody to play against you. Oh, God. You've won your first duel, you're on the way. Win four, and you're up there for the jackpot. £352,000 at the moment. It's nice, going to be a lot that? more than that in three duels' time. Let's find out who it is that you want to play against in your second duel. Let's have a look at the options. Who have we got up there? We've still got Steve44, a mortgage broker. Michael thought he looked a bit nervous. And we've also got... He's always there. Day 44, our bin man. And our new duelist, Vicky, 19, a cafe assistant. What about Dave? Dave's been up there for ages. I know, it's a shame, isn't it? Steve does look quite nervous, but then Steve's nearer to my age, whereas Vicky, she could well be at uni. OK, who are you um, going to go for? So she might be brain of Britain. I'm going to go for Vicky. Vicky. Vicky, please come and join us. Sorry, Dave! <laughs> you didn't have to wait very long, did you? No, I did not. Have you been to uni? She suspects that you maybe you have. I have been to university, yep. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually going back again in September to study history, and oh. I'm just doing this job to kind of keep me going at the moment, so... So history, history will be expecting you to do well on that. Any other subjects you think could be strong for you? Um, just kind of pop culture and modern things. I'm quite up to date on my bands and well, things. Oh, Trisha's not bad on those either. Well, I've got two daughters around your age, so... Oh, You're regretting asking <laughs> Vicky now? No, no. You're happy no, that's it. fine. No, she's nice and smiley after Michael as well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You've watched the game before. We all know how it starts. You both have ten chips. You both have two accelerators. Vicky is on her first duel. Trisha is on her second duel. The jackpot is £352,000. Vicky, Trisha, let's duel. <laughs> first question. In which type of restaurant would you be offered the dish chimichanga? A, sushi, B, Tex-Mex, C, tapas, D, Thai. Chimichanga. Do you serve chimichanga in your snack bar? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I mean, the most exotic we've got is a roll and sausage. A roll and sausage. <laughs> Bacon, if you're lucky. How's, your, how's, your, how's it your food knowledge, Trisha? Um, I've travelled quite a bit, but I have got to say, I've actually never heard of that. Plenty of chips to play. Make sure you stay in the game, Vicky. Chimichanga. Accelerator has been played by Trisha. She's trying to bully you. I think she did, but um, I'd already put my chips where I wanted them, so... Oh, no, bless. I wouldn't bully you, darling. <laughs> no. Please, but, you know, it's good to unsettle the new player. Let's lose the screen. She's played all four. Why not tapas? Because I lived in Spain for a while and I never saw that on a Spanish menu. Well, the answer is... B, Tex-Mex. <laughs> <laughs> good job. You use those chips to 
probably would have left that out if I was leaving anything out, actually. There you go. That's a lesson, a salutary lesson for the next question. We lose nice. five more chips, but we add those £5,000 to the jackpot. The jackpot is £357,000. That's nice. <laughs> so far, Vicky has seven chips. Trisha has eight chips. Trisha has one accelerator left. Vicky, you've got both of yours. Next question, please. Which sport links to films? Bull Durham, Field of Dreams and The Natural? A, baseball. B, American football. C, ice hockey. D, basketball. We've had our fair share of chick flicks. That's not the same. Of course, you won't know it. Now, sadly, yep. you didn't get that chip in in time. That's why it hasn't lit up. I know. Let's lose the screen. A good accelerator, I'd have thought. Yes. The answer is A, it is baseball. <laughs> in a way, in a way, it's just as well you didn't get that chip in to mm, see because yeah. that saved you a chip. You lose two chips, £2,000. Added to the jackpot, the jackpot, £359,000. Five chips for Vicky, eight chips for Tricia. Next question, please. In Shakespeare's play, who killed Macbeth? Was it A, Banquo, B, Duncan, C, Lady Macbeth, D, Macduff? People will be thinking, now, if he's Scottish, she should know, and she feels she does. She's played the accelerator. Responded quite quickly. Do you think you managed to panic her a bit? Um, yeah, I think I did. Um, do you feel that you know this? I hope I do. I studied it for two years. You feel you, you, you should know if you've studied it for two years. OK. That's a disgrace. You've played two chips. <laughs> Two years reading one play, studying it for A level for hires, presumably. <laughs> yep, hires. You studied it for hires, and you think it could be Lady Macbeth or Macduff. <laughs> well, the Lady Macbeth, Macbeth threw me. I was kind of unsure about whether that was just a sort of. Who's the favourite? Macduff. I'm sure, it's Macduff. What's the name of your English teacher at school? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Thomas. Miss Thomas. Miss Thomas, if you are watching, <laughs> the child's a disgrace. <laughs> It better be one of those two, young lady, <laughs> trust me. Or I should be going up to see Miss Thomas. <laughs> well, you've covered the same two she's covered. You've also gone for Duncan. Why not Banquo? Um, I've never heard the name Banquo. And Banquo I had heard the other. I have no idea. You've no idea <laughs> if Banquo is in Macbeth. Did you pass your English literature higher? I got an A for it. You got an A for it? <laughs> People say that educational standards are slipping. I don't know. <laughs> Dear me, the answer is... D. Duff. <laughs> in your information, Banquo is in Macbeth oh, and appears as a ghost at the feast, if you remember. Anyway, £3,000 added to the jackpot. The jackpot's £362,000. <clears throat> Need to start playing a little more carefully. You're still in the game, that's the most important thing. You've got four chips left. You can still cover all four if you need to. Six chips, Tricia, so it's close. Next question. On which of the Spanish costas is the resort of Benidorm found? She lived in Spain. She lived in Spain. She studied Macbeth for two years. It doesn't always follow, does it? A, Costa Brava. B, Costa del Sol. C, Costa Blanca. D, Costa de la Luz. Right, you should be getting this one right, Tricia. You mm. lived in Spain. Whereabouts in Spain did you live? Not there. Not there. I'm not really a Benidorm sort of girl. Have Are you, you a Benidorm been? sort of girl? I've never been. No. No. Would you like to go? I would like to go is for the jackpot. Your... I would go and find out where it is. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been to Spain on holiday? Um, I've been to Tenerife, but I've never been to the actual Spain, mainland Spain. You might be better to cover all your options. Well, I was thinking that, but then again, I need to keep some of those chips back, don't I? If you're really not sure, don't blow it. Mm. Use your... You 
were playing her there, weren't you? Mm. Me not. You changed around so many times. But what you have done is kept yourself in the game. Good girl. Whatever happened. Mm -hmm. You were on and off C. C was the one you thought it might not have been. I just honestly never had a clue what the answer was. Well, you've stayed in the game. Whatever happens, you need it to be C or B. I do. The answer is C, the cost of playing fact. Just as well in the end, wasn't it? <laughs> Just as well, Vicky. Kept yourself in the game. Yep. But three more chips gone and one has gone from Trisha. Jackpot goes up to £366,000 and it's a key time now. You have one chip left. Trisha has five chips left. You need the next question to be a good one for you. Yes. And you're going to have to <laughs> wait a little bit longer because it's time for a break. Welcome back to Jewel, and Trisha is on the cusp of winning her second Jewel and playing for some money, and Vicky is on the very edge of going out. You only have one chip left, while Trisha has five. This question is vital for you, Vicky. You've got to stay in, you've got to keep covering the right answer, and you've only got one chance to do it. Let's have the next question. What is sophophobia a fear of? A. Wasps. B. Learning. C. Sitting. D. Relatives. If it's relatives, I think we've all got it, haven't we? <laughs> Gosh, that's a hard one, isn't it? it? Really, is a hard one. I know what one would be the most rational, but. What's your thinking? Telling you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I thought we were getting on so well. <sighs> it's so important, isn't it? It is only a game, Not for though. you. Just play them all. She's done it. She's bitten the bullet. Oh. Well, we know that Vicky's only played one. <laughs> because Vicky only had one. Yes. She used the screen. You said that logically one stood out. Well, I would have thought wasps because I thought everyone was scared of wasps in a way, but then you would have thought you would have known the term for that. Why sitting then? Uh, it sounds like sofa. <laughs> I think. <laughs> you know, I think. <laughs> that's that a sort of logic. logic. It's a sort of logic. It's a sort of logic. It's a sort it of was logic. an educated guess. Educated by <laughs> Miss Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> if it's C, you're still in the game. You are still in the game, whatever happens. Anything else, A, B, or D, you are out of the game. And, Trisha, you have won. Your second jewel, you have a chance to win some money. Wow. A big moment. The answer is. D. Yes! Oh, sorry, Vicky. Sorry. Well done to you. You've won your second jewel. Vicky, we're very sorry to lose you. You had to play a lot of chips very, yep. very, very early. Unfortunately, you played two <laughs> on Macbeth, which Miss Thomas will be heartbroken about. <laughs> And you went out on a question about a fear yep. of learning, which is kind of ironic. <laughs> it's a bit it? ironic, yeah. You've been great fun. I'm really sorry to lose you so quickly, but Vicky, thank you thank very much. Thank you very much. much. Thank you. Bye -bye. <laughs> so, you have won your second duel. You know what happens here. You're already onto your third duel. You'll play that whatever. Now you have a chance to win some money. Three chips. Ooh. One question. You play all three chips, you win £2,500. You play two chips, you win £5,000. You play one chip, you win £10,000. But now, one question against the accelerator for cash. Safe cash. Okay. It is. Sure. Versus the accelerator. Let's duel. <laughs> Oh, 
Here is your question. Which month of the year begins in the sign of Scorpio and ends in the sign of Sagittarius? A. May. B. August. C. October. D. November. Here comes the accelerator. Seven seconds. Should be good for you. Interested in all sorts of things. Supernatural. You've played two. £5,000 could be yours. I was going to go for October, but I didn't want to lose the chance of winning a little bit so of money. So you covered yourself with November. Yeah. If you would just played the one on October, you could have won £10,000. As it is, you've covered your bets and gone for £5,000. The answer is D, November. You've won £5,000. Congratulations. Wonderful. Well done. £5,000, absolutely wonderful. You paid that very, very nicely. That's your money. That's safe. What would you spend that on? I'm going to Thailand. Thailand? Well, you'll be able to have a lovely time in Thailand with that amount of money. Now we're moving onwards and upwards towards your third jewel. We're going to be playing for the jackpot very soon. £370,000. Are you thinking about that? Yes. Are the fates on your side? Yes, I do believe so. I think this is my lucky day. You've got a feeling. <laughs> well... If today was your lucky day, you're going to have to hope that next week is your lucky day as well, because that is the end of the programme. You're going to be setting off on your third duel next week. We'll see you then on Duel. Next on ITV1. Hey, action. Oh. <laughs> Jason Bourne's on the run in The Bourne Identity. Whilst on ITV4, Queen are about to take to the stage in Rio.